tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. If you want to animate a leg, you need to build a leg. That's obvious. So let's build one. Let's go to rigging. Choose one of the side windows, the orthogonal windows like this one, where I deactivated the grid because we don't need to see it. And under rigging, you find skeleton. And the top entry is create joints. In character animation, characters, 3D creatures which move or do whatever uh, they like, uh, consist of joints internally. That's not the skin which we actually render, but uh, that's the, the driving machine inside of the creatures. And uh, we're not talking about bone, bones here in Maya. We're talking about joints, although we will see uh, bones in just a second. So we create joints. This is the first one. Just place it anywhere. And this is the knee. This is the ankle. And this is the foot. And we press enter so we have our leg. Now we have to decide whether we go for inverse kinematics or forward kinematics. I did a tutorial about uh, the, the difference a while ago and I give the link in the description of course. But uh, just briefly when you deal with forward kinematics you have to take care of each single joint and bone obviously. For example if you want to do something with the with the knee you need to rotate the knee like this and you need to take care that you don't overstretch it like this so um, and the same applies to the foot so you would typically animate this leg like this you would choose the or select the root joint that's the one the only one which you can translate and you translate it over here and set a keyframe and the rest needs to be done with rotation. Why with rotation and not translation? Well, let's just translate the knee and you see that the upper bone, leg bone, stretches like mad, which is not uh, what you want, but instead rotating keeps every bone length intact. But we go ahead and create IK solvers and this, this is inverse kinematics now. And these, there's a typical setup for this kind of leg and this is the typical kind of leg here for which is used in uh, I would say 90% of all uh, 3D creatures in feature films and uh, advertisements and etc. Uh, so we go back to skeleton and here we find in the second section here IK inverse kinematics Inverse kinematics is the uh, way to handle bones and joints without actually rotating individual joints. Create IK handle. Let's use the option box here. Uh, the default setting is rotate plane solver. We usually would use a rotate plane solver for the first IK handle, but I'm not going to go into this now. Uh, let's go f for the single chain solver. And, uh, which is a little bit simpler and click here that's the top bone that's how our IK system should start and then we click here and we have something which looks like a direct connection between these two joints leaving out the knee and that's the elegance of IK inverse kinematics because now I can translate and not rotate this handle here it's not the joint it's the handle and you see that the knee behaves very natural. This is just nice and this uh, was a breakthrough about 20-25 years ago from now we're in 2019 currently um, because that was uh, there's quite uh, some computing power behind that because we don't have to take care of the knee. Uh, we need a second and a third IK handle for this leg because we want to control the foot. So we go back 
actually probably we deselect everything and we go back to skeleton and create IK handle now we don't need the option box because we our settings are set to the single chain uh, IK solver so sounds complicated but it isn't so we select this joint here and this joint and we have our second IK handle and uh, now we deselect it again and go to create IK handle and we select this one sorry this one and the end here we have three handles now and they let us control the whole leg now how how can we control the whole leg we select the first handle and uh, if we want to make a step forward we could go about it like this and you, you can see that the foot points upwards and if we want it to point downwards we can use our IK dynamics but uh, if you raise the foot for example uh, the, the ankle here um, you would rather have these joints and bones stay horizontally instead of row sort of rotating with it and that's why you have a basic setup which goes like this you pick the handle 2 it's that one and with a shift key or the control key the handle 3 and you middle mouse drag them onto the IK handle 1 which means we make these two totally dependent on that one middle mouse up here and now they're gone no they're not they're under the hood of the IK handle 1 now when I move the IK handle 1 the foot uh, stays horizontal and if I want to animate the foot I can just use IK dynamics like this or for that one like this the bones don't change in length so everything is flexible but uh, with a root here selected I can basically go ahead and animate it and how to animate the foot uh, is something which I'll show you in a different tutorial where we will start with this leg here and exploit motion capture data in order to get this leg walking so try it out yourself and have a good day bye bye